Hello everyone and welcome to another useful video tutorial of Energy Bar Toolkit. In this video I will show you another Energy Bar Toolkit renderer, repeated renderer. Let's go! Yugui Repeated Renderer is a Yugui renderer that allows you to create bars using repeating icons like hearts or coins in the new Unity UI environment. Repeated Renderer has many similarities to Yugui Field Renderer, so you can think of it as a set of small field bars that are joined together into one. If you haven't seen our Yugui Field Renderer video tutorial yet, I recommend you to click the link in the description or card annotation that you can see on the screen. Let's get back to our repeated renderer. As always, let's start with an empty scene. Choose from Game Object, UI, Canvas to add Yugui Canvas to your scene. And now from Tools, Energy Bar Toolkit, Yugui, create repeated bar. The repeated bar will appear with the example textures attached just as before. This time these are hearts. There are two textures here in total. The first one is the icon and this is our shiny red colored heart. Next field is the slot field that represents empty placeholder of our bar. Just as before it is recommended to create your textures in grayscale because you can easily change their color using these fields and maintain a good look of a bar. In the appearance section you can change the total number of your icons and also the distance vector between them. By the vector I mean that you can easily customize its orientation and overlapping. As you might notice, we haven't configured any filling effects so far. Let me show you what you can do here. Grow type option is responsible for the look of a growing icon. By the word growing, I mean the situation when you have, let's say, 5 icons and your bar can have values from 0 to 10. Value 2 is in fact 5th, hence it will display the first icon, but what value of 1 should it display? I think you've guessed right, it should display a half of your icon. Grow type defines if this icon should be cut, scaled or something else. I will change its type to grow and change value current to show you how this may look like. Nice looking effect, isn't it? The next fill-in effect is the fade effect which fades each icon from transparent to opaque when increasing the value and the other way around when it's decreasing. Fill grow type is what you know from field renderer and it looks like this. Left to right, right to left, bottom to top. Top to bottom, radial CW, radial CCW, expand horizontal and expand vertical. You can add the label text to see for example current value percentage. Let's create our label text now. Just invoke create UI text. And the new text object is now created. I will make it a little bolder, bigger and also change its color to make it more visible on this background. Ok, drag our text to label field of our bar. As you can see here, to display the percentage value, our format field has to be like this example. Add percent sign here and here and remove the rest. It's a good practice to make your text a child of your bar to make it move whenever the bar object moves. You may also want to set the text anchor to make it stay in place, depending on how you want your bar to work. Usually setting it to top left is good enough. There is one more thing you can do with your repeated bar and this is the smooth effect that will make your bar values change smoothly. You can change the speed of this effect and also the direction which you want it to work. You can make it smooth in both directions, only when the value is decreasing.
or only when it's increasing. The last option in this section is unfinished, which specifies an object that message should be sent to when the smooth effect finishes its animation. After assigning the object, you will be able to specify the method name as well. Configure your bar however you want and then press the play button to have fun watching it working. See you in the next video. Cheers!